Well, the sixth and final point that I have for being an easygoing person is learn to gain understanding. Um, when I was, this happened, all this talk came together yesterday on a Sunday, and I was t carrying a piece of paper around with me to um, take notes on thoughts that I had about how to be an easygoing person, and to be honest with you, a lady offended me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, I, we were tearing down the carnival, and I went up to to a lady. A group, two two ladies were together, and I was talking to the other lady, and asked her if she had knew of anybody that was extra help that could help me wheel things from one place to another. To as we were packing up all of our equipment, and uh, the other lady that was standing there s looked at me. I mean, got close to me and in a very forceful way said uh, there's people that there's young men that the preacher has designated to help you and to take care of those things and we all have our own list of things to do and uh, we can't help you she just looked and I looked at her and said oh I do see I we do have those young men and they're helping a lot with the heavy stuff I just thought I could ask other people to help me with the lighter stuff but that's okay and I just walked off you know but man as I walked off I still felt the sting of the slap against my face you know because she was so strong about it and it was just hurtful can I say that it was just hurtful and as I walked off a couple things went through my mind and I thought you know have I who I'm a very strong personality have I ever done that to somebody else and I had to admit yes I have you know, I I have perked in and stuck my nose in, given advice and talked to, to somebody when they weren't talking to me. And number two, as I'm sure that I have said things like that in that spirit, you know, of being very forceful because I'm very opinionated. So I, you know, I thought of that and that helped the sting. And then the third, the third thing I thought, the second thing that I thought was... <clears throat> And then this took me a little longer to come up with this, but I thought, you know what? I probably don't understand and wasn't there when the preacher announced to the people that he had got these boys, that they were the designated people that were going to help us and not worry, don't worry about the big day. It's not going to be a lot of work because I got these boys that they're going to help the walkers set up and tear down. And You know, I started thinking perhaps the preacher made that kind of a, announcement and she was being defensive about what the preacher had said to let me know you know and so I thought another way for me to uh, be easygoing is to always be gaining understanding now I told I told this illustration to my son I always share these thoughts as God teaches me things I teach him I teach him or share them with my children to help gain help them be more easygoing I guess and my son told me about a verse he he's been chewing on for a couple of days and I was so excited KW said um, Proverbs 17:27 He that hath knowledge spareth his words okay when you have knowledge <coughs> you spare your words and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Wow. I got really excited. I said, K-Dub, that's perfect. That's an excellent verse to go with the thought that I have about this illustration and about being easy going. You know, a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. And isn't that what being easy going is? Having a good spirit? So, I'm just telling you. I, I gave you the illustration of this lady. And... Can I say, and now, at this point, I think, you know, she wasn't really wrong. Because, you know, maybe she could have done it in a nicer way. It doesn't matter. But what I think is neat is that I gained some understanding. And I tried to think through some things to, to help me not be so hurt and not be so offended. Isn't that really what the Christian life is all about? And isn't that what being easygoing is all about? is me fighting, allowing my emotions to be offended and hurt when things are going on around me. Huh. I hope that these, this series has been a blessing to you and I hope that you'll share them with other people because I really believe all of us need to learn how to be more easygoing. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.